Hello, Reb children, Reb Postal speaking. Today might be the most important day in the whole hip hop community because Kendrick Lamar is dropping Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Later, I will make breakdown, but here are my first impressions. If you're vibing with me, please like, subscribe, and let's enjoy the new Kendrick Lamar album. One thousand eight hundred and fifty-five days. What is a bitch in a miniskirt? A man in his feelings with bitter nerve. I wanna get me a therapist. I can debate all my theories and sharing it. Whoa, what am I having as well? Shaking and moving like what am I doing? I'm flipping my time through the roller decks. Just listening. Pray none of my enemies hold me captive. I grieve different. I was nine when they put a mud in the grave. Heartbroken when I still didn't say goodbye. I grieve different. Mm. Such a powerful intro, jazzy production and uh, chaos, pure chaos. Kendrick tells about his grief on brother's death, as far as I heard. Uh, wow. Take off the fufu, take off the cloud chase, take off the wifi, the real world outside. Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care. Take it off, Ugh, you ugly as fuck. You out of pocket. Is this Kendrick or Baby Kim? Seems familiar. I don't know about this one. I feel like this is way too baby Kimi. The production seems to be generic for Kendrick. I like the hysterical voices, but uh, for a second track, kinda uninspiring. Call that black. Okay, Lama. Lil Wayne. Oh. <laughs> We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. I don't think like I used to. No, I don't hmm. think like I used to. Yesterday I prayed to the flowers and trees. Gratification to the powers that be. I don't know how to feel. Like the first time I fucked a white bitch. I fucked a white bitch. I was 16 at the Palisades. I found out that he was a sheriff. That was a win-win. Next time I fucked a white bitch was out in Copenhagen. Good kid, Mad City tour. I flourished on them stages. Ancestors watching me fuck was like retaliation. I'm a killer. He's a killer. She's a killer. Eight billion people on earth, silent murderers, objectified so many bitches, I killed their confidence, the me accomplishments, niggas killed freedom of speech, everyone's sensitive. Hmm, hmm, okay, whole lot of information in this one. He said something about addiction, ask Whitney about my previous addiction. His son's name is Enoch, <laughs> Bible name. Old Testament name. And there were some stories about a couple of white bitches he fucked. I like the way they did with instrumental. I mean, it's just a loop. But it fits the vibe of the track because it's background for his uh, storytelling. I hope I'm not too late to set my demon straight. Shimmy, shimmy, cuckoo, bow, flame Do you love me? Do you trust me? Can I trust you? Don't judge me. Have faith a little. I might take my time. Ain't no saving face this. The world be reminding me it's danger. I still risk it all for a stranger. Hmm. Hmm. For London. Such a pop track, kinda unusual for Kendrick. I can't catch the vibe of the record as of now, but I feel like there are topics of love, uh, regret. Kendrick obviously is at the most sincere form he's ever been. Directions that I can't see. Daddy is you all across my head. Tell me fuck a foul. I'm charging baskets and falling back, but trying to keep balance. I need more than fake hops. Practicing on day up. No chase, I need no chase. Cause if I cried about it, he surely tell me not to be weak. Bill's got no silver spoon. Daddy issues, fuck everybody. Go get your money, son. When Kanye got back with Drake, I was slightly confused. Guess I'm not mature as I think. Got some healing to do. Grown men with daddy issues. Definitely the most personal record of Kendrick Lamar. He tries to accept the becoming of father and deal with uh, his father's uh, problems. Sampha is just perfect. I missed him. I missed him a lot. The whole instrumental feels kind of jazzy, but very easy to listen, appealing. And there is a going on uh, theme of therapy. A bunch of lost souls in survival mode. It wasn't no way for us unless we find our own. Nigga play with me, he ain't gonna hear to tell the story. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this the type of shit we glorify. It's giving. Got the baby sniper standing on that Merc business. Yeah, slime for that. What you doing with Kendrick? Man? What you doing with a legend? Uh, Lil Wayne is obviously a huge inspiration for Kendrick. We all remember the video <laughs> where drunk Kendrick uh, recites Lil Wayne's uh, verses. I guess it was kind of his poem about interest, industry, about his uh, way, probably. <laughs> Rich nigga, broke phone, trying to keep the balance, I'm staying strong. Christ with a shooter, praise to Muhammad, I might make a loser. Bitch, I'm attractive, can't fuck with you no more, I'm fasted. Ugh. Stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. Stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. I don't know about this one. There are many instrumentals that are not bright, not prominent, I don't know. I don't see a powerful chorus here, I don't see here some bars uh, production. PG Lang song. This is what the world sounds like. Griselda instrumental. I'm tired of these emotional ass of grateful ass bitches. Forever late for shit, won't buy shit. Sit around and deny shit to miss me with that reverse psychology. Man, bitch, you bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Nah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you, niggas. Cut me down. That's a big difference. Stressing myself, trying to figure why I'm not good enough. But you were sucking this dick, though. Well, shit, I should have sucked. You said I'd rather act like I'm coming. I'd rather fuck off the juice. I'd rather <laughs> fuck on your cousin. Fuck you, no, nigga. Fuck you, bitch. No, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you, bitch. You the reason Harvey Weinstein had to see his conclusion. Pussy and mouth is all you got. Lay this pussy back on the couch. Doggy style, then you get on top. <laughs> fuck you, fuck me. Yeah, you playing, man. Fuck me. <laughs> nah, you playing. <sighs> I'm so devastated after this one. I don't know who that girl is, but she must be an actress because she does it so naturally. I mean, you can hear her literally crying and uh, sobbing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how the world sounds. It's a powerful performance, but I don't know about this as a track. There are not so many people who can listen to this one <laughs> on the background or during their walk or uh, in the gym. It's the emotion you want to get rid of, not to put them on yourself. While I'm crying, I clean the feet of the sweet Jesus. This is the fifth dimension. God, please blow the whistle. We need an intermission. Kinda cool, but it doesn't click with me much right now. Gotta come back later for that track. Ghostface Killer's verse was okay. Summer Walker was okay. But <laughs> what a disrespect to Caesar. Mr. Duckworth. All of these holes make it difficult. One of these lives, I'ma make these right with the wrongs I've done. That's one of you now with the father, son, till then I fight. This time around, I trust myself. Please, everybody else but myself. I love when you count me out. <laughs> this is me, and I'm blessed. This is me, and I'm blessed. Hmm. The big steppers are actually step dancers, right? <laughs> you can just say uh, a couple of words about this because. There is so much to think about. So many times you gotta release in that. He's the most personal state. As, as for now, I can say it's the most his experimental, artistic uh, form, sincere, personal. And it sounds nothing like To Pimp Butterfly, Them, Good Kid Mad City. You gotta live with this project. You walk around like everything is in control. I can't please every man. No, I can't please every man. Heavy is the head that chose to wear the crown. Hmm. I don't get you killed. I, get you killed. I, I can't please everybody. Such a cathartic track. It's about accepting yourself, accepting that the people are <laughs> different and you can't please everybody. How wouldn't you try? And heavy as the head that chose to wear a crown is about 
uh, being famous is about being on your mission to change this world and accepting that you can change everyone you can't bring the peace into this world because it isn't perfect itself Why you keep fucking with me? <laughs> push these niggas off me like who? push these niggas <laughs> off me like who? I be immune to shit talking to broom and shit <laughs> This is gonna be a shit. Shake the currents off me like who? Push these bitches off me like who? Be quiet. I'm stressed out. I need all the love. I mean all of us. It's like six o'clock. They don't fuck with me even if they could. Pull out the stick, hit a bitch with the wood. Studio with Kayla, fresh out of bed. Yeah, you niggas can't stand the rain. This is <laughs> hit. This is banger. I mean, it's the most recognizable track of all i've heard because of catchy chorus of course uh mixed trap with strings i like that i was very scared of kodak black's feature when i saw that uh, because loving you is complicated kodak it was okay yeah it's kind of even strange that this track is almost at the end of the album but i feel like it's gonna be in the top of charts. And you develop a sense of self that is based on the bad things that happen to you. You ever see a mama strung out while you study division? Your uncle ever stole from your day at the jack of all trades, got money at the way, put my heart in the faith, I'm good, love. Now how can I fold looking at 20 million? This money don't come with a probate. Uh, Kendrick made you think about it, but he is not your savior. Mr. Morrell, give me high five. Two times in the court of finish, judging my life. Like it when they pro black, but I'm more caught at black. Tell me where the money at. CC. Wait a minute. Ben Aki. Ben Aki. Say la vie. Say la vie. Bitch. Are you happy for me? Millie, are you happy for me? I gotta read the lyrics later. There's so much. I kinda like the percussion. And again, it's about love, about his mission, about that he cannot be a savior. My auntie is a man now. I think I'm old enough to understand now. Ask my mama why my uncles don't like him that much. And at the parties, why they always want to fight him that much? Fack it, fack it, fack it. We ain't know no better. Elementary kids with no filter. However, as a gay, she ate pussy, and that was the difference. The first person I seen write a rap. That's when my life had changed. Fack it, fack it, fack it. We can say it together. But only if you let a white girl say nigga. It's an interesting take about uh, his auntie changing her gender. It's the contradictions between religion and humanity. I mean, as far as I understood, his auntie made Kendrick an artist. I mean, she put faith in him. And the religion didn't accept her as a, a man. And it's like a difficult problem about God and religion, and what's actually good to his auntie. Morality and humanity. I couldn't sleep last night because I felt this thing. Mm. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna be the Joker. I'm the Joker. Futuristic, futuristic production, but... Uh, I didn't get the meaning behind the track. I'm sensitive, I feel everything, I feel everybody. One man standing on two words, heal everybody. I should have grabbed a gun, but I was only five. Anybody but myself. Who's my cousin? Did he touch you, Kendrick? No one believed me when I said he didn't. Frozen moments, pain is taking over. Blame myself, you never felt guilt till you felt it sober. I was never high. I was never drunk, never held my mind, I need control, amplified, as I write this song, I shiver cause I'm nervous, just results of how them questions made me feel, seven years of tour, as I set free all your abusers, this is transformation. Last for words, a uh, story about violation, right, about raping, maybe, and uh, therapy and transformation to another man loving f himself or being himself accepting himself as he is I'm gone. I choose me I'm sorry hmm. 
Hmm. It's such a difficult situation. I wouldn't say Mr. Morel and the Big Steppers impressed me at first as uh, them or To Pimp a Butterfly. As the album, it doesn't feel like a musical project at some point. It feels like a recording of therapy session. Even in terms of production, I feel like I can divide tracks and there is a lot of, of personal revelations, of imperfections, of insecurities Ketrick's talking about. It's definitely about love, but not the love of God, love to himself. Coping with his insecurities is a part of love, is a part of accepting himself. But the feeling is definitely mixed for the first time. I really want to see your thoughts on Mr. Morale and Big Steppers and on this reaction. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and pray for Apostle.